Okay, well, welcome to the video. And if you have any questions about what it takes to get started moto vlogging, uh, just leave a comment in the comment section. I'm going to go over a few quick things uh, and show you what you really got to have if you're going to if you're going to talk during your videos. And uh, anyways, so what I've got is a ten GoPro ten Hero ten. And the lens on it there is a Max Lens Mod. What that does is it keeps everything horizontal. So if, you, if you're riding down the road and you tilt your head far left, it, the camera's not going to know the difference. It's going to keep the, the horizon flat. I'm going to show you the difference in the video quality. Uh, I'm actually shooting this part from a Note 20 Ultra. Uh... But anyways, I'm going to show you the difference. I'm going to show you some actual footage uh, that I've done with this. The very first time out of the box. So what I've got is the Hero 10 uh, camera. I've got the Media Mod, which is a cradle that goes all the way around it. Also, too, I would highly recommend that you get an extra battery. I bought an extra battery and this cradle. Uh, that, that keeps them charged. Uh, also, too, I've got a remote. Now, this thing here, it's really crazy. I would have thought I never would have never used it. You pair it up with your hero uh, or your camera, and you turn this on. Let's see here. You turn it on, and what I do is I actually take this and secure it to my brake a brake reservoir, front brake reservoir. So it's sitting on the bike like this. And all I have to do is push that button right there if I want it to to uh, start videotaping. And it, it links up with the camera, and that's what it does. But anyways, you'll need some basic mounts. Uh, you'll get a couple mounts that come with it. Also, too, a big deal is you're going to need a chin mount. Now, this company, Chin Mounts, they make helmet-specific chin mounts. And you'll, you'll take the adhesive off, get a hair dryer or a heat gun, heat both sides, the helmet. You'll clean it first with an alcohol pad, and you'll heat, heat the uh, adhesive there, stick it to it, and they recommend that you don't touch it for 24 hours. Uh, it... I've never heard of one falling off. Now, some people say they do, but that's a good chin mount. It's not a $2 eBay chin mount. It's a $35 chin mount. All this stuff here, I'll put links in the, the uh, description of the video. Also, too, you'll need a purple panda, and I highly recommend uh, this company for a mic. I've got the mic actually set up in my helmet. I put it in the cheek pad. Uh, and, and actually, my mic sits about right here. It's kind of tucked right behind the chin pad. And I run the wire out the bottom. It plugs right into the back of the camera. That's another big deal with this media mod. I would highly recommend that you get one of those. Because let me show you the difference. So there's your, there's your port... For your mic, it plugs right into the back. You don't have to have a converter box, nothing. And there's if you want to charge your battery. Anyways, we're going to go from shooting this video on my phone and just stay, stay with this video. Leave a comment in the description if you got any questions. I live here in the Dallas, Texas area. Hit subscribe and like on the video if you, uh, if you can. It helps the channel grow. And uh, you'll see the difference in, in uh, the GoPro video. This GoPro video that I'm shooting was in 2.7K at 60 frames per second with the Max Lens Mod. And you'll see how everything stays horizontal. Uh, just stay right here. It's coming on. So I'll tell you, uh, I'll tell you some stuff about the, uh, my, my, experience or, or whatever with this GoPro this is the first GoPro I've ever had I've researched it on uh, YouTube and 
the Hero 10, there's like a, a bundle deal that you can get. It's like $3.59. You're gonna need a good if you're if you're motoblogging or what or whatever from a motorcycle or even a bicycle. If you got a helmet on, you're gonna have to get some kind of chin mount and from what I've seen, the best perspective, or maybe, maybe that's not, yeah, best. <laughs> Anyways, the best perspective is off the chin. You can see the dash. It, it's like what you're seeing out of your helmet. And I can tell you this, that the first thing you'll notice is the weight of the GoPro. Uh, I've got a GoPro 10. Uh, I think it's a Creator's Edition or... 10 black but anyways the weight of the gopro on the helmet and also i've got a communicator on here a uh cardo systems pack talk edge which uh, awesome unit but anyways the first and the helmet i've got is an x light x light 803 ultra carbon and this helmet is light super light like i I've held a bunch of helmets, uh, the Atlas, the new Atlas is super light, but when you put them next, you know, put one in one hand, one in the other, this Ultra Carbon is super light, so uh, it was like having nothing on, and the perspective out of, uh, out of the helmet looking left or right, I mean, it, it's really good, so... Uh, but that's the first thing I noticed was the the weight of the GoPro It wants to tilt my chin down I've got a chin mount from chin mounts. You can find them on Facebook or whatever uh, You have to put it on the helmet You have to clean it real good. They give you an alcohol pad uh, Heat it up heat the helmet up a little bit with a hairdryer heat gun where you're going to put it and then heat the 3m adhesive on the chin mount stick it on there and they say don't mess with it for 24 hours i didn't mess with mine for two days and i've had people tell me that oh get ready it's going to fall off it's going to fall off well i'm here in texas and i've rode uh with this chin mount now i haven't i haven't had it a year or nothing it, it's all this is really new to me the the chin mount uh the gopro but anyways i filmed a ton of stuff you can follow me on facebook under ray bowden or on youtube ray 